So this morning we opened up oil once again at reversal zone, the same area where I had taken marvelous short yesterday on oil. When we came to the trading room, at the time of the open, I said, oops, good time to take a break. Could not be more clear that oil was stuck in worthless correction because reversal zone 1 was respected. This is oil 21 range. If you respect what price is telling you, you know what not to enter into. Worthless? For all the reasons we completely expect it. Because reversal zone 1 was reached and price had found support before the news. Our very, very first long trade had ended in about less than few seconds and here's my second long trade struggling at reversal zone. So, let's monitor and let's see what price will do as price is freaking magic. Just play by the rules and don't allow anything to torture you. Reversal zone 8 range remains exact same formula on S&P. Guess what we had done today on S&P? We've taken short from this level down to this level. Yes, it is reversal zone and it's very, very aggressive trade, but this is all that price is giving me. Just like taking long trade at reversal zone on oil is very aggressive trade. That's why there is no powerful bullish rally. Bias short we've taken advantage of, but this is what created this problem. In order for bearish trend to continue, it had to break through this level, and bearish trend was not able to continue. But the spectacular bullish rally ain't playing out. It is very, very slow and very hesitant. So will the rally pick up this steam, and will it blast through my levels? That would be marvelous. I am playing very, very carefully and trailing cautiously. The rally is on, ladies and gentlemen. Trade number four on oil this week. All positive. Total, two trades on S&P and four trades on oil. Despite very corrective market conditions, we have no negative trades. We are respecting market structure and we are carefully trading. Less volatility to come because monthly charts are way overextended and if you know how to not babysit corrections you are so much more ahead of the game. That was the case on oil this morning that was the case on S&P entire day yesterday. That's why I spelled out this morning on oil. Pretty please walk away from computer and come right before news release. That's why on S&P yesterday I spelled out take a day off. That was ultimate torture. The fight between minor trends. And if you know what price is telling you, you know not to babysit corrections and you know when to pay attention to powerful structure. And that's exactly the reason why I'll be trading only with our students in the month of August. I'm so sick and tired of babysitting corrections because it's taking the best of me. So the challenge is on. Volatility on monthly charts completely dying out for day trading. Therefore I'll be trading only with our students Larger time frames, any instruments. If I see hourly on gold, we take it. If I see Forex 15 minutes, we take it. And that's the plan for the month of August. I'm simply going with the flow. I'm prepared for the challenge. I'm prepared for low volatility. Wanna come on board? Next class starts on Monday. While our beautiful oil trade reached the end of the minor trend and hanging for dear life as we knew it would, I wanted to update to you on what S&P is doing as the fight between the levels is on. You simply have to respect what price is telling you. You simply have to know what not to enter into as it had been phenomenal, brutal fight. And the only trade I saw here was solid short that went down to this level 
And right now the fight is on. And don't be surprised if sellers will step in with vengeance once again. But this is the beauty of the price, as all the levels had been spelled out since yesterday. And that's where the power continues playing out in front of us each and every day. And that's why I love what I do, as it confirms that nothing in this world is random. My trail down oil, 104.65. Isn't this marvelous? Price ended at the end of the minor trend, and oh my god, it was not able to break through this level. So marvelous, 24 tick trade, as expected, ended at the end of the minor trend, and S&P finding sellers, as we knew it would. And that's the recap of the price structure. And that's the magic, confirming, if you play by the rules, you don't babysit corrections as oil had tested everyone. Yesterday, 20 hours, that was our quick long and marvelous short that went on for 3 hours. Worthless corrections pre-market and finally rally we had taken a charge of twice in the room. Our students had opportunity to do one extra time. If you know what to do and you don't need any hand holding, you know what price is telling you and you take advantage outside of trading room hours. That's all there is. Pure price for entry, Fibonacci for exits. Next class starts Monday, June 16th. Look forward to seeing you there. Price is magic. Confirms that nothing in this world is random as S&P continues further down. Can't wait to see your S&P right here. That would be magic, and if it will play out during trading room hours, I'll be so excited to show you what we can do. And if it plays out outside of trading room hours, and you know the rules, enjoy the structure.